Hello, I'm Patrick Linnell with Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Cattle Facts, the deciding factor. It's been another roller coaster week for cattle markets and nearly all markets across the board. Cash fed cattle prices averaged slightly higher on the week, but what's more interesting was the trend within the week. Fed trade started the week early at 105, roughly $5 lower, but strengthened throughout the week with late trade at 112 to 113 per hundredweight. Expect prices to be fully steady to firmer next week and a record strong basis against April live cattle to continue. Light movement of feeder cattle and calves were traded across the country, with feeders mostly steady to 8 lower and calves 4 to 12 lower. The futures complex found some stability this week, with the nearby live cattle adding roughly $4 and nearby feeder cattle futures up $3 on the week. The monthly USDA cattle on feed report will be released this afternoon. Expectations are for sharply lower placements and a total inventory near even with last year. Pictures of empty grocery store shelves have flooded the news and social media over the last week as consumers rush to stock up on food. The meat case has been no different and retailers have been aggressively chasing beef to restock and keep product on the shelves. The box beef cutout exploded higher on this surge in demand, adding $44 per hundredweight in a week, with choice beef quoted at $249.87 on Thursday. Load counts were roughly doubled this week compared to last, which also shows the aggressive interest from retailers. To put the price levels in perspective, this was the highest daily quote for choice boxes since July of 2015, and only $13 shy of the all-time high set back in 2014. Even more impressive, this has occurred with huge beef production, estimated at 7.6% above year-go levels last week. Where the cutout goes from here is a much tougher call. Beef demand will remain firm and support prices as long as consumers continue to rush the meat case. The question will be how much the loss of restaurant and food service business will impact demand once the retail sector can catch up. Food away from home tends to be an important driver of beef values, especially for middle meats, but also for ground beef. Another unknown, spring grilling demand will be approaching and be here before we know it. Americans under quarantine and practicing social distancing may still want to throw some beef on the grill even, even during these uncertain times. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.